me, Karen, and today I'm going to be showing you my skincare routine that I've been doing for the past couple months. Now my skin has changed drastically since moving to LA like a year and a half ago, and it's been trying to adjust to this really dry weather. I finally found a skincare routine that changes my skin texture and now it's even softer than ever so when i went to hong kong this time around my grandma looked at my skin and she was like how do you maintain your skin looking so soft when you put so much makeup on throughout the week all right so if you guys want to see my routine let's begin so every day after i wash my face i always start off my skin with a skin softener and this one is by tatcha it's called the essence just a disclaimer, I'm not sponsored to say any of this stuff. It's just what's been working for me. And guys, this has changed the texture of my skin and now it's like a baby's butt. This is the first step to making your skin maintain the moisture. And it's really important in my opinion to start off your skin by balancing the pH back out. So the Tasha Essence is packed with micronutrients and what that will do is it'll sink into your skin as soon as your pores opened up after you wash your face right and you can let this like literally absorb into your skin it feels like it's sucking up all the moisture and liquids as soon as you put it on because definitely after I wash my face my skin feels very tight and dry and having this guy balancing out the pH really helps a lot also it really plumps up the skin and make it look more youthful again so I take a about three, three to five drops of this stuff and you want to gently pat it into your skin. You don't want to rub it in, you just want it to like sink into your skin so that your skin, as soon as you wash it, it's freshly clean, it can absorb all the... The next step is using a really hydrating serum for my skin and serums are basically a concentration of goodies in a bottle. It's usually smaller than your full size stuff because you only need a little bit for it to go a long way and it's basically one of those pain points that you want to address for your skin. So my skin is lacking in hydration and that's a pain point that I want to tackle straight on. So I've chosen this Tasha Luminous Deep Hydration Firming Serum. That's a bit of a mouthful, but I've been using this stuff for over a year now and this is actually my third bottle because I just can't depart with this guy. I've tried so many other serums, but this is the one that gives your skin that locked in moisture feeling. It definitely feels like everything has been absorbed as soon as you apply it. It's a little bit of a tacky texture at first and it looks somewhat like this. When you apply it onto your face, it's kind of this gel-like texture and it's very light. I like to put it all over my cheeks area right here because it's quite dry and sensitive. And also whatever product I have left from my fingers, I rub it onto my forehead just because it's more of a oily spot for me. Whenever you put skincare on, you definitely want to spot treat areas that feels differently on your skin. For example, my T-zone is oily and my cheeks are dry, so I definitely like to focus all of the hydrating products onto this part of my face. So now that I applied it and it's set in my skin for the not last about 10 seconds, it does have this very slight tacky feeling, but if you live in a tr more tropical area and you have moisture in your air, um, this still does great for you because it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily at all. And what I mean by the tackiness, it's not like sticky, like glue sticky. This is the type of tackiness that you feel like, oh my gosh, my skin is firming up right now. Now the third step to my skincare routine is locking in what I just set on my face with a cream. And what creams do, because it has more of an oily moisturizing base, it basically seals the goodies that you just applied and sunk into your skin. The oils from the moisturizer will definitely leave kind of like a light film over it. And as you go about your day and do things, what this will do is make sure everything is compacted and locked and sealed in there. Because whenever I don't and I skip this step, my skin dries out a lot faster and I feel like the contents that I just put into my face dissipates into the air a lot quicker. And definitely if you're in your 20s, you want to invest in anti-aging products because you want to maintain your youthfulness as you're stepping into your 30s. This is actually my second bottle already. It's back there. It's that tiny little guy. The scent is not very strong. 
It's just very creamy. It feels like you've whipped your face and goodness. So once again, you wanna just apply this stuff onto the driest spot first, which is my cheeks for me. I'm pretty generous with my skincare products just because I feel like this is definitely one thing that you must and you have to kind of invest in it for yourself because come on guys, you only got one set of skin and if you're not protecting it, if you're not like anti-aging it, then you're just aging along with it. And also don't forget your neck because I think your neck is the first signs of aging and a lot of times we always forget putting it on there. Oh my gosh, it just feels so good. I love how this feels. Look look at how soft and baby smooth my skin is after I apply the sky on. But when I do skip the first two steps and I just dive into the sky when I'm lazy, I can tell a huge difference the next morning that um, my skin only had a layer over it which protected it from drying out, but there definitely isn't anything that got sunk into my skin and my skin was absorbing to make it more youthful. So whenever I use the two initial Tatcha products, it makes my skin look like this. Okay, so now this final product is an addition that I added to my skincare routine that's really changed. I mean, all of it makes a huge difference, but I think this is the one that made my skin extra baby soft. Now that I'm back in LA, I'm going to go ahead and top off all of this stuff with an oil. The oils is what will make your skincare last longer. And on top of that, when you apply oils onto your face right before your makeup, it makes your skin look way more dewy. And I always like to apply it right underneath my eyes too because this area doesn't really produce natural oils. And when you put makeup on top of it, it's easy to sink into the dryness of your skin and it gives the appearance of like old and crackly looking, which we want to avoid completely. So this is by Smashbox and it's supposed to be um, a primer oil before you put makeup on. But I also read here that you can use morning and night and let it absorb into skin before applying makeup. So every time I do that, my skin just looks so soft and it doesn't even look like I have foundation or concealer on. I put my concealer on and then I mattify it again with a powder. So that's my routine, which has been super flawless. All right, so now we're gonna do a close-up application of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. This is actually my second bottle now. I love the first bottle. So you only really need two drops. You don't need a lot of this stuff. And then I'm just going to apply it right underneath my eyes right here. I like to blend it into my skin. Let it really absorb. It may feel kind of oily at first. So if you have excess products, I also like putting it onto my neck because my neck clearly doesn't excrete oils like my t-zone does so because my t-zone is quite oily i avoid that part at all costs but my cheeks i want to maintain like the suppleness to it and also my under eyes so i definitely put it there and when you start putting your, your concealer underneath your eyes it will be a little bit more slippery than usual so just keep that in mind but it does make your skin look so baby soft and healthy and glowy and i think that's the look that I like for spring. Right, so we are basically done with my skincare routine um, before I leave the house. So I think it's crucial to put on sunscreen. This has been my favorite one. It feels so silky and it doesn't have a really strong sunscreen scent to it. It's also great for underneath your makeup because it's the silkiness of it and the lack of oiliness feeling to it definitely makes it feel like you have a primer on your face before you put your makeup on. Yeah. Yeah, this is basically my routine. It's very important to protect your skin with sunscreen after you apply all the goodies. So I think that is how I've been maintaining my skin. I think my diet also has a lot to do with it. I skip a lot of like meats, like steaks. I tend to go for chicken. I think chicken is a cleaner protein and also fish. Um, I don't drink any Coke or juices even. I'm a big water person. I just love water and I also love tea, but I don't drink coffee either. I just think coffee makes me too hyper and I'm like too sensitive to caffeine. So there's that. The only bad thing that I put into my body, which is pretty damn bad, it's hot Cheetos. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this skincare routine video. I'm so excited to finally have a space to like film in here and um, yeah, alright, yeah, that's it for me 
from me. If you guys have any comments about my skincare routine and if you guys want to see like a dupe of it, but maybe cheaper version, because I know this is quite pricey, um, leave a comments below. Leave a comments below. Leave your comment below. Let me know. Or if you guys already know dupes of any of these products, feel free to drop them below too. This is what's been working for me. And if you want something to work for you, make sure you study your skin type because I think that's super important. That is what made me have no breaks breakouts after realizing that I have combination skin, dry slash oily. So knowing it and finding the right products to tackle your skin problems is what will make your skin clear. And also diet. Like I said, drink lots of water. All right. Once again, that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. And bye for now.